Hey everyone, so Sephora and Ulta released a preview of their Black Friday sales, which are starting a little bit earlier this year. And I feel like that's a trend, not just at Sephora and Ulta, but a lot of retailers. And they're kind of allowing you to shop a little bit longer. Some retailers have been holding sales all month long. So it's been a little bit nice because I feel like you can take your time. So in today's video, I just thought I would go through the different products that are going to be discounted and let you guys know which products I think are worth the money or worth trying. Now Ulta has a pretty extensive list, so I can't imagine they're going to add too, too many more products to it, but there is a chance that is a possibility. And Sephora just released a preview. So again, I think there might be a longer list once the sale actually starts. I'm going to put links in the description box below that will lead you right to their Black Friday pages. So you guys can check out the sales yourself and see if there's anything you're interested in buying or trying out. I do want to say that sometimes the individual retailers have even better sales during Black Friday. So if you are looking to repurchase some of your favorites or try something new, there are some good deals at Sephora and Ulta, but I would always recommend recommend checking the individual retailers as well because sometimes they have even better discounts. I also wanted to share my first giveaway of the holiday season. I'm excited because I have a few fun giveaways planned for the next few weeks and it's such a fun time for me to be able to give back and spoil some of you guys because I just appreciated your support so much in 2020. I know that Black Friday shopping and makeup shopping in general might not be a priority for a lot of people this year and that is completely understandable so I definitely want to spoil a few of you guys, share some makeup products with you. So for today's giveaway, I have some fun Hourglass holiday products. I also have some fun new Buxom lip products, a milk makeup mascara, and some products from Soul Body, and a few other things that I think you guys will enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It's always easy to enter. Just check the description box below. And once I choose a winner and ship the products out, I always update the description box with the winner's name. But stay tuned because I have some fun giveaways and videos planned for the next few weeks, but let's jump into it and I will share the different deals happening at Ulta and Sephora. I moved over so I can put some pictures on the screen for you guys. So Ulta's deals actually start on Saturday, November 21st at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Everything is going to be available online. Now they do have in-store sales. Those start on Sunday, November 22nd at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, but obviously if at all possible, please choose to shop online. I know that different states have different rules, but I do recommend shopping online if at all possible to stay safe and keep others safe. Everything will be available online and free shipping is available over $35. The first thing I want to mention is this new ColourPop Lip Vault. So this is the Romance Moi Ultra Matte Lip Vault. It's normally $50. It's going to be on sale for $42. So it's not necessarily a super large savings, but it's actually an $84 value. You do get quite a few ultra matte lipsticks. So if you like more of a matte liquid lipstick, this might appeal to you either for your Yourself or to kind of split up and give as gifts to other people. Now, I know some of you guys like these really large makeup kits that are sometimes available during the holiday season. Ulta Beauty does have one. This one is their Beauty Box Prism Edition, and it's normally $30, but it's going to be on sale for $14.99, and it is a $200 value. These aren't for everyone, but if you're someone who tends to like these larger kits or you like to give them as gifts, that might be a great deal for you. And then they're going to have $15 face cleansers. Now, it's not every single cleanser that they offer. Select cleansers from It Cosmetics, Tula, Clinique, Dermalogica, Philosophy. I really like that Dermalogica Clear Start Face Cleanser. It is my number one go-to. I actually just repurchased it during the Sephora VIB sale, so I don't think I'll pick it up, but I have been wanting to try that It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. Have you guys tried it? Do you think it's worth the money? I really like the confidence in an eye cream, so I've just been curious about more products from that line, but if you're looking for a new cleanser or your favorite is on sale, it might be worth grabbing one. Let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. So Anastasia Beverly Hills did bring back the Sultry palette for the holiday season, which I just love. It's one of my favorites. If you used yours up or you missed out on it, it might be worth checking out this deal. For $65, you get the Sultry palette, a mascara, a liquid liner, and then also an eye primer. It is a $94 value. But if you aren't interested in that one, I know that the Anastasia Beverly Hills website has another vault option with that palette. Select palettes from Juvia's Place are going to be 40% off, which is such a good deal because their palettes are already pretty affordable. The quality is really, really nice and they have a lot of different ones to choose from. Typically during Black Friday, Juvia's Place does run some sort of sale. I got quite a few palettes a few years ago for 
either 40 or 50% off. So if you're looking for a Juvia's Place palette, it might be worth checking out their website as well to see if they are running a better deal. But if you're placing an order on Ulta's website and there is one that catches your eye, they are 40% off. I know a lot of people like Morphe's eyeshadow palettes. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette is going to be 50% off, which brings it down to $19.50. I never tried the original. I never tried this one, but I did want to mention it for those of you guys that might be interested in it because it is going to be discounted by a lot. Let me highlight a few holiday kits that are going to be available for a discounted price. Holiday kits are already really nice because typically you get, you know, a higher value than what you pay for, but if they're going to be available for a discounted price, that makes them even better. So there is a Too Faced kit for $17. It is a $38 value and it comes with three mini Too Faced products, including the Better Than Sex mascara, the waterproof version of that, and then also the Better Than Sex eyeliner. I personally don't love the Better Than Sex mascara, but I know a ton of people love that one so much. So if that is one of your favorites or you've been wanting to try it out, you can get all three mini products for $17. The Smashbox holiday sets are 40% off, which is a great deal. They actually have some really good sets. I was thinking about trying this primer set because it comes with three mini primers, including their original photo finish, the primerizer, and then also the vitamin glow. I know a lot of their sets actually have a pretty high retail value compared to what you actually pay. So those might make great gifts if you're looking to give a gift to someone, but you still want to save a little bit of money and shop smarter. There is nothing wrong with that at all. There's also a Jack Black lip balm set. I really like this lip balm. I purchased it a few years ago based on the recommendation from quite a few of you guys. This set in particular comes with four lip balms. It's normally $25, but they're marking it down to $20, but it's actually a $32 value. So again, if you want to split up a gift or kind of use them as stocking stuffers, those work for anyone who just enjoys a nice lip balm. NYX holiday kits are going to be on sale up to 50% off. They have a really large butter gloss vault. They also have one that comes with colorful eyeliners. I was just looking at them the other day and they do have some nice options, especially especially if you like some of their staple products that they're well known for. The last holiday kits I wanted to highlight are from Ulta Beauty. These are kind of like the Sephora favorites, but they are Ulta's version. So they have one for mascaras, one that comes with lip products, and one that's kind of like a best of beauty. Those are all going to be 50% off. So if you like trying minis and you just want to have a bunch of different formulas, those might be worth checking out. There are a few drugstore and affordable brands that are going to be on sale during the Black Friday sale. So LA Girl is going to be on sale for 50% off. It includes all of their lip and face products. I've been wanting to try more LA Girl products, so this will be a good chance to maybe pick up a few things on my wish list. Their products are already so extremely affordable, so 50% off is really going to mark them down to just a few dollars each. Milani face products are going to be 40% off. They have a picture of blushes on there, so I'm assuming cheek products are included as well. And I've had like two Milani baked blushes on my wish list for a little while, so I think this will be a good chance to grab them. And then CoverGirl, the entire brand is going to be 30% off. That's not necessarily the best deal that I've seen for CoverGirl products. I've seen the brand at 40% off, buy one, get one half off. But if there is a staple product you were planning on repurchasing, it's always nice to get some sort of discount. The Body Shop is going to be 30% off. I did pick up one of their body lotions a few years ago during the Black Friday sale, and I really liked it. I think it was an almond scent, and I think they discontinued it because I tried to find it not too long ago, and I couldn't find it again. But if you guys have any recommendations for lotions or body products from that brand, please let me know because I've been looking to replace some products that I'm currently using. I'm actually really excited about this next deal. So the Confidence Skincare line from It Cosmetics is going to be 30% off. I tried the eye cream back during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and I just fell in love with it. So I've been wanting to try more products from the line, including just like the regular moisturizer. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about that from you guys. So I think I might grab that and then maybe repurchase my eye cream. The makeup erasers are going to be 30% off, so they're now $14. This would make such a fun stocking stuffer if you know someone who's trying to choose something a little bit more sustainable than makeup wipes. I love my makeup erasers. I actually just purchased a kit that came with seven mini makeup erasers, 
which are really cute and it's nice to always have one on hand. But this is the regular size makeup eraser, so it is pretty large. The Kylie Cosmetics blush bronzers, highlighters, and concealers are all $10 during this sale. I haven't tried any of those products, but I know a lot of people do like purchasing from Kylie Cosmetics. So if that is you, you can get a pretty good discount on cheek products and concealer. Have you guys tried the Ulta Beauty Collection candles? I didn't even realize they had those, but they are going to be on sale for $9.99. They're normally $20. So if you guys have tried them and you think they are worth picking up, you'll have to let me know. That seems like a pretty good deal. I just wanted to highlight three different brush deals. So if you're looking for new makeup brushes, again, it might be a good idea to kind of check out the individual retailers. BH Cosmetics brushes are great. ELF has some really nice brush sets for the holidays as well, and they are really, really affordable. But the IP brushes for Ulta are going to be on sale for $10 each. Now those are individual brushes, so they are a little bit more expensive, but they are a little bit more luxurious feeling. I do have a couple of those and I really enjoy them. I like using them for my foundation. So if you feel like you want to kind of splurge on a brush for either your foundation or your bronzer, those might be worth checking out. And I mean, again, they're just $10 each individually. I'm just used to like getting an entire set for $10 from like Elf or BH Cosmetics, but the IP brushes for Ulta are really, really nice. There is a Real Technique set. So this is the Rosy All Night Five Piece Brush Kit and it is $9.99. It's 50% off, so it's normally $20, but it's actually a $37 value. And again, Real Techniques makes such nice brushes. If you like Ego Tools, they also have a kit. So this is the Glow On The Go Six Piece Kit. It is $9.99, it's normally $20, but it is a $36 value. And Ego Tools is a sustainably made brush line. I don't know why I said it like that. I was trying to think of what I wanted to say next, but I was reading about the handles because I did talk about them in a video once. I wanna give you guys the correct information, so let me just look. So the bristles are vegan, the brushes are cruelty free, and then what's really nice is the handles are actually made from renewable bamboo materials and recycled aluminum. So I just wanted to mention that because I think EcoTools is a really underrated brand and their brushes are really, really nice. So all of those deals are going to be available starting on Saturday. Now starting on Tuesday, November 24th, they are going to have even more deals. And they gave us a preview. I honestly think there might be additional products added once the sale starts but these are going to be available online at 12.01 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I just wanted to highlight a couple of those that really jumped out at me. Select mascaras are going to be $10 each from some high-end brands like Tarte, Urban Decay, Buxom. It says there are even more brands. So they're normally $15 to $25, which is a great deal. I like to buy high-end mascara when it's on sale. So I might take a look and see which brands are available, but that might be worth checking out if you do like high-end mascara as well. And then select lip products are also $10 each. So on the picture, they have Kylie Cosmetics, Stila, and then Lime Crime, but there will be additional brands as well. They're normally $15 to $22. So if you want to get your hands on more of an expensive or high-end lip product for a discounted price, they will have those available as well. So of course, some of the Urban Decay palettes are going to be on sale. I feel like their palettes do go on sale quite a bit, but some of my favorites are on sale. So Urban Decay's Naked Cherry, Naked Honey, and Naked Heat are going to be 50% off, which brings them down to $24.50 up to $27 because the prices do vary a little bit. Naked Honey is definitely one of my favorites, and it really surprised me because when you look at it, it kind of just looks like a neutral palette, and it is, but I feel like it has a little bit of a spin on it. It's kind of like an updated neutral palette, and it's just fun to use. So if you've been wanting to try out one of their more colorful naked palettes, those are going to be on sale for 50% off. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits are going to be on sale for 50% off as well. I still haven't tried one of these. I just feel like I don't typically purchase highlighter palettes because there's always at least a shade or two that I don't end up reaching for, but I still hear so many good things about these. So if you are late to the game like I am and you want to try them out, they are on sale for 50% off. Tarte foundations are going to be 50% off as well, which brings them down to $14.50 up to $19.50. So if one of those are your go-to or your favorites, it might be worth grabbing it again. And then Kylie Cosmetics is going to be 40% off, but just their lip kits and setting powders. 
One more eyeshadow palette I wanted to highlight. The Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette is going to be 50% off, which brings it down to $24.50. That is one of my favorite Too Faced palettes. If you really like metallic eyeshadows, you'll really enjoy that one. It does come with four matte shadows in like neutral colors, but for the most part, the metallic shadows are just really intense and shimmery and shiny and so much fun. Foreo is offering 30% off select items. This is one of the products that I do enjoy. I don't typically use any sort of brush when I'm washing my face but when I did this was the one I liked because it was a lot more gentle than brushes that had actual bristles like the Clarisonic so if you have sensitive skin I think you will enjoy that brand the Murad nutrient charged water gel is going to be on sale for 50% off bringing it down to $30 I might try this because I really like the Murad products that I've tried I tried one of their moisturizers back in the summer and it's become a staple for me and this sounds like it could be really nice for oily skin as well there are are some other skincare products a bunch of hair tools for discounted prices so if you do need to repurchase a new hair tool a straightener a blow dryer then you might be able to find a good deal during Black Friday at Ulta so I think that pretty much wraps it up for Ulta. Like I said, there are some additional products I didn't touch on in today's video because I might not have tried them. I'm not super familiar with the brand, but I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you guys can check out all of the sales. And they might add products as the sales start and go on. So you might want to check out the website on the day that the sales actually start in case they do add something that looks really appealing to you. But let me know if you guys plan on picking anything up from Ulta Beauty and let's jump into Sephora and I'll share the few products that they have on sale. They haven't released a ton, but this is kind of like a preview. So some of the same deals are happening at Sephora. I feel like Sephora has been copying Ulta sales for a while, but if you prefer to shop at Sephora or if you can't get your hands on the products at Ulta, if they sell out, you might have better luck at Sephora. So again, the three Urban Decay Naked palettes are on sale again. Naked Honey, Naked Cherry, and Naked Heat are going to be $24.50 and then $27 for Naked Heat. I really love all three of those palettes, but I would say that Naked Honey is probably my favorite out of the three. So that really is a good deal. The Urban Decay Perversion Mascara is going to be $10. I actually just purchased that. I bought a gift set that came with that and then also the Perversion Liquid Liner. But if you like a little bit more of a dramatic mascara, you might really enjoy that one. There is a Charlotte Tilbury deal. So this is the Pillow Talk Eye and Lip Set. It's an $87 value, but it's going to be available for $60. That's still pretty pricey, but Charlotte Tilbury products are expensive. So you are getting, you know, $27 off if that does appeal to you. There are a couple of skincare products, a few hair products. Oh my gosh, is that the Clay Play palette? I swear I thought they discontinued that because... I've talked about it on my channel for a few years. What? I'm genuinely so confused. So the Tarte Clay Play palette is normally $45. It's going to be on sale for $29. I purchased that a few years ago, and as soon as I got it, they discontinued it, and they came out with the second version of it. And I swear, I've checked Sephora's website, I've checked Tarte's website, and I haven't seen it for years. So I don't know if they are bringing it back or it's been available this entire time, but it is a nice option if you tend to wear matte neutrals. I don't like a lot of Tarte's eyeshadows, but I do like this one. It comes with nine matte shadows and then three contour colors, but I would also use those as eyeshadow as well. So that is a great deal. They blend very, very easily. They stay in place well, and I do enjoy that palette. That's like the one Tarte palette that I still own. If you're looking for like just a true contour palette, their Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette is going to be on sale for $29. It's usually $45 and it comes with six different cheek products. So you get some lighter highlight shades, some deeper contour shades. If you are a makeup artist or you just like having contour palettes in your collection, you might really enjoy that one. I did get that a long time ago in a subscription box, but I decided to pass it along just because I don't do a lot of contouring. Two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits are going to be available. So again, the same deal that's going to be available at Ulta Beauty, 50% off. So they're normally 40, but you can get them for 20. The first one is the Sugar Glow Kit, and the second one is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. What else do I want to highlight? Oh, they're also discounting the Moon Child Glow Kit, which is normally 40, but again, you can get it for 20. I honestly didn't know these were still around. I remember them being so popular 
here back in the day. The Moon Tile Glow Kit is so, so pretty. I really like the colors in that one. The Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser is going to be on sale for $20. It's normally $40. I actually just got that in a BoxyCharm not too long ago, and I am planning on testing that out because it sounds really, really nice. And again, I do like the Murad products that I've tried so far, and I'm just curious about the brand as a whole. The It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Volumizing Mascara is $15. It's normally $25. I never tried this, but I love the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. That is one of my absolute favorites. I've repurchased it so many times. And this one always looked very interesting when people were using it on camera. The packaging is a little bit different, but because I had such great luck with the Superhero Mascara, that does sound appealing to me. I just, I always like when I can get high-end mascara on sale. So that one will be available for $15. And then I actually plan on picking this up. This is by the brand DPU. It is the Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse. So it's normally $35, but it's actually on sale for $17.50. I swear I just talked about this in my FabFitFun video. I got a dry shampoo from this brand in my FabFitFun box, and I said that I wanted to repurchase the hair rinse, but sometimes it goes on sale. So I actually had saved it to my Shop Tagger account and I've been waiting for it to go on sale because I do like it. It's kind of like a nice um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you apply it to your scalp and it kind of helps to erase any product buildup. And if you deal with like a very sensitive scalp, it's just very soothing. I know that some people use just like straight up apple cider vinegar, but I think that this might be slightly more gentle. I just really enjoyed it and I do have a very sensitive scalp. So I am planning on grabbing that. I touched on the majority of products, but there are just a few more. So again, I'll put a link to Sephora's website in the description box below for you guys. But I think that pretty much wraps wraps up the Sephora and Ulta Black Friday previews. If you guys want to see another video on Black Friday deals from different brands and individual retailers, let me know and I can work on it this weekend and get it up for you guys on Monday if I can find enough information to film an entire video. But I would love to know if you guys are planning on picking anything up, even if it's not makeup related. Do you need anything for around the house, for gift ideas? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.